There are a couple ways to make these three input Karno maps. Um, you can orient them vertically or you can orient them horizontally. Um, I like to do them horizontally. So just like for the two input Karno map, I'm going to draw this uh, diagonal line here that's going to separate my inputs. And what I do is I put the first input to the left and I put the second and third on the right. So then um, my input combination, my input possibilities for A, um, A can be either 0 or 1. And then for B, C, the input combinations can be either 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, or 1, 0. So here's where our gray code comes in. You'll notice I didn't just count in binary here, because this would be binary 0, 1, 3, 2. So this is actually gray code. We have to do this in order to have only one bit change between um, each state to the next. So um, when I write out all those combinations, I can now turn this into um, a table. So in each of these positions, this cell here corresponds to when A is 0 and B and C are 0. So this is the value 0, 0, 0 on our truth table. In other words, this is min term 0. This is when the inputs are 0, 0, 1, or min term 1. This is where the inputs are 0, 1, 1. And this is actually min term 3. And this is 0, 1, 0, which is min term 2. So you have to be careful the ordering goes 0, 1, skip over, 2, back to 3. And the same thing is going to happen in this row. So this is when A is 1 and B and C are 0. So this is min term 4. This is 1, 0, 1, or min term 5. Now I skip over for min term 6. This is 1, 1, 0, and then I come back 1 for 1, 1, 1 to give me min term 6. I'm sorry, 7. So um, if you are making a Carnot map from a truth table, then make sure that you get the positions correct so that you put your outputs in the correct cells. Now, um, for larger K maps like this, as opposed to just the two input K map, um, like I mentioned before, there's different ways we can do the bit grouping. So we can do um, we can do entire rows, we can do groups of two, we can do groups of four, we can do um, wraparound grouping um, where we group this with this. Um, the only thing we can't do is we can't do um, diagonal grouping and we can't do groups um, that are not in the form of 2 to the n. So we can't do groups of 3, we can't do groups of 5, we can't do groups of 6. Um, it has to be 2, 4, 8, 16, etc. Alright, so um, now that you see how to construct the general K-map, let's do an example. So suppose we um, are asked to make a 3-input Carnot map for a function and we have the truth table of the functions. The, let me just make this truth table 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And suppose our outputs are 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so now we want to put this truth table into a Carnot map. I'm going to construct my Carnot map with A here. A is either 0 or 1. And then I have B and C up on the top. And our um, possibilities for B and C are 0, 0, 0, 1. I'm counting up in gray code, so there's only one bit change per movement. And then now I can fill in the values for F in the appropriate location in the Carnot map. So midterm 0 is a 1, midterm 1 is a 1, midterm 2 is a 1 min term 3 is a 0. Then we have a 0, we have a 1, 1, 0. Okay, great. So we have um, the values for f are in the appropriate location in our Carnot map. Now I'm going to make my groupings. So I'll do these in different colors so you can see. Um, I have a group of 2 here. Um, I have another group of 2 here. And then I have this kind of extra one here that's not grouped. So you always want to make a group if you can, even if one of the, group, the bits has already been grouped with something else. And the reason why is every time you do a grouping, that's going to reduce the number of literals in your sum of products form. Um, so here's a pretty good grouping. There's different ways you can do this. Like I said, you can do wraparound grouping where you 
group this bit with that bit and you'll get um, a different result. But this is going to be my choice. So let's figure out what these, um, what these groups are telling us. So for the blue group, we have that um, a is equal to zero, right? Because along this row, we have a equals to zero. If a equals to one, that's not within our blue group. And we have that B between these two bits, B is equal to zero in both of these cases. So B is equal to zero. But C can be either zero or one, and we'll have a one in our grouping. So it means if C is either, that means that it doesn't matter. So what does matter is that we have A naught and B naught. So this is our product contribution from the blue group. So then let's do um, this pink group. So what's true um, for this group here? Well, we have that A can be either zero or one, and we'll have ones in this pink group. So this is either. We have that B is equal to one, and we have that C is equal to zero. So if A is, can be either, that means we it's kind of not necessary to put it into our product because it doesn't matter, but we do need that B is true and C is false. So these are how we write the literals here. Now the last grouping we have is the green group. And here what do we have? We have that A can be either zero or one, but we have that B is equal to zero, and we have that C is equal to one. So for this green group, we, um, we don't need to put A in there because it can be either zero or one, but we do need B to be zero, and we need C to be one. So now what we do is um, all of these contributions from our groupings, we just or them all together. We add them all together. So our function for F is A naught, B naught, or B, C naught, or B not C. Um, and if you like, you might recognize that this is XOR, so you could also write this as A not B not or B XOR C if you want. But it design, depends on your design constraints. If you are asked to not make your function with any XORs and just implement it with ands and ors and inverters, then this would be your bogey. Um, so let me show you in the next video an example of how to make a truth table from the midterm and max term representations. So let me know if you have any questions about making a three input truth table, I'm a three input Carnot map from the truth table.